if you've never heard the term uh, powder bed fusion before, powder bed fusion is, uh, is the describing term for a particular sector of the additive manufacturing uh, industry, which uses a powder material to make a solid part at the end of the day. So uh, typically all machines, not only from EOS, but also from other machines that are, that are similar, they start with a powder material. That material is laid down in a thin layer then there's some form of energy. Typically it's a laser beam, but can also be uh, uh, other forms of an array of uh, laser beams or something like that, which is coming down onto this thin layer of powder, melting that powder together in a specific shape in a single layer, forming a solid layer in those melted areas. There's then another thin layer of powder which gets deposited on top of that same process, laser or an energy deposition method, melts that polymer together onto the previously melted layer, repeat that 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 times. At the end of the day, you have a, a, a solid part which is inside of a lot of uh, loose powder. And this term, powder bed fusion, is used to describe that process both on the, on the polymer side and on the metal side. There are, there are a number of other terms which are same, same, but different. So on the polymer side, oftentimes it's called SLS or selective laser sintering. It's also called powder bed fusion. On the metal side, it's typically called uh, powder bed fusion or laser powder bed fusion if it uses a, a laser to, to form a part. And there are some advantages to doing that. Um, one advantage to doing it is that uh, you can have really high resolution in the part that you're trying to make. So if you have thinner and thinner layers, smaller and smaller spots, size uh, of, your, of your laser beam, you can create parts um, with a really high resolution in a shape which is not possible to do in a traditional method like a casting uh, or on the polymer side like an injection molding uh, technology. So, you know, as, as manufacturing industry changes, we shouldn't think about additive being a, being a replacement technology for traditional, uh, traditional technologies. It's, um, it's complementary to and in addition to uh, manufacturing that exists today. The interesting uh, advancements in the powder bed fusion industry, which, is, which have really happened in the last two years, all go in the direction of repeatability, reliability, and true uh, production. So we're getting out of the prototyping space and we're getting into the production space. Mm -hmm.